I'm telling the truth there. So that's what we're going to do. But this one's kind of an updated dish that uh, Grandmama may have done in her later years. And I've got some frozen hash browns in the freezer. And I've got a pot. Gertie's head is laying right where I'm going to have to stand. I hope I don't get her nose. All right. I've got my ball and water, and I'm going to just put these hash browns in the ball and water, and I'm going to let them cook for about five minutes. And then over here in this bowl, I have some herb-flavored instant potatoes. I've got butter. I've got softened cream cheese. Sound delicious already, don't they? I've got some jack cheese and I've got some sour cream. I've got some garlic salt. Potatoes are not good if they don't have the salt in them, so you wanna make sure you season those up good. And while I'm waiting on those to heat up, I'm gonna take our casserole dish with a little softened butter. I'm just gonna wipe our dish down with it. All right. And I think those potatoes are ready. Now I'm just going to dump those in our colander because we want to make sure that, that we um, get all the water out of them. And I'm going to turn the eye back on. So I've turned this eye back on. Now what I'm going to do is throw those potatoes in there and just let that water that's in them evaporate That'll help just absorb that water and pull that water out of it so it won't go into our casserole. All right, I'm going to dump our potatoes in there. Okay, now I've got all those ingredients mixed together. All we have to do now is add a liquid to our potato dish. And I'm just going to use water. And I'm going to measure up two cups. Perfect. I'm just going to stir that in. All right, those look real, real good. And I see that jack cheese kind of stringing in there. Now I'm going to just transfer these potatoes to our dish. All right, now I'm gonna put this into the oven and I'm gonna bake this for about 45 minutes. 350 preheated oven. All right, we're going in with this. All right, let's check on our mashed potato bake. Now at this point, all we have to do is put our onion rings on top. And you'll want to be real careful that these don't burn. So all it needs is about five more minutes. And mashed potatoes. I, I forgot about them. Oh, but they're all right. They're all right. They're fine. Ooh, that scared me. I just knew I had burned those onions after I told y'all not to do that. Y'all know I don't think I ever met a chicken that I didn't like because I love it all. And I think I'm going to put a little gravy on my mashed potato bake. Look at those mashed potatoes and those onion rings and that gravy. Mmm. That could almost make me cry. Thank mm -hmm. you.